the holidays are quickly approaching, so chances are you have some family and friends coming into town. Now, there's no better time than right now to book a room at one of the beautiful hotels and inns that we have here in Key West. I know rooms are filling up very quickly. We're going to talk this morning specifically about six hotels that are located right in the heart of Old Town. They will give your visitors a perfect taste of the island. Mary, thank you for being here with me this morning. Hi, good morning. Well, it's wonderful having you here, Mary, and I'd like you to start by telling our viewers a little bit of background about Historic Key West Inns. Historic Key West Inns is a privately owned hotel company started 15 years ago by our president and CEO, Julie Fondreist. She fell in love with Key West, its beautiful architecture, the weather, and her passion really is maintaining Old Town as authentic Old Town. She found her first hotel in 1997, the Merlin Guest House, and it is a historic property originally built in the 1930s to house Navy personnel at Fort Zachary Taylor, mm -hmm. and it was just in need of tender loving care. She bought that property and invested money restoring it, bringing it up to standards so that modern people can live in our historic beautiful old world, mm -hmm. and the following year she bought the Key Lime Inn, uh, which underwent amazing renovations, award-winning re renovations in 99, and gradually has added to the collection until this February, she bought the Cypress House Hotel, and now we have six properties. All of them are historic, dating back turn of the century or before that, mm -hmm. and all of them have the beautiful old town architecture, the clapboard siding, metal roofs, mm -hmm. and it is Julie's goal and our goal at Historic Key West Inns to maintain them and preserve them for future generations. Wow. Now, Julie didn't have the owner of these hotel collections. She didn't have really any hotel experience, did she, Mary? None whatsoever. <laughs> In fact, Julie lets it be known that she would not run a hotel company at all if it were not for the fact that she just has a passion for Old Key West, mm -hmm. and she wants to preserve these buildings and let everyone see how beautiful Key West is and keep Old Town beautiful. Mm -hmm. She would not own a hotel anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But Old Town Key West. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about the hotels, Mary? I mean, you've been involved with the hotel collection for a while. Do you have a favorite in? Oh, <laughs> the managers of the separate properties would get mad at me if I say <laughs> one of them's my favorite. <laughs> right now, I am very, very excited about the Cypress House Hotel. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. It's on the corner of Simonton and Caroline Street. And Historic Key West Inns purchased the inn just this past February, and it has undergone amazing restoration and renovations, uh, a quarter, or three quarters of a million dollars, actually, mm -hmm. just restoring it to its original grandeur. The main house was built in 1888, and over the years, of course, these properties do need a lot of maintaining. Mm -hmm. uh, last night, we had our grand reopening, and it is absolutely amazing. We would love to show anyone in the community who wants to come by and take a look at the work that's been done, how beautiful the Cypress House Hotel is. It's just amazing. Do you allow tours throughout the day in the inns, Mary? We absolutely do, and anyone is welcome to contact me directly mm -hmm. or the property manager, Danielle Vaughn, uh, if they want to take a look at the work that's been done there or at any of our six inns. Mm -hmm. Now, Mary, let's talk a little bit more about your six inns. I know you mentioned three of them. What about the other three? Could you give us a little information on them? Sure. We have the Albury Court Hotel. That's in a residential neighborhood in Old Town, actually, on the corner of Eaton and Francis Street. The accommodations are in five buildings scattered around the property with a central courtyard and swimming pool. Mm -hmm. There's daily continental breakfast in the courtyard. It is the closest hotel to the historic waterfront district, so okay. lots of people who come and go on the Fort Myers Ferry, for example, it's the perfect place to mm -hmm. stay. Oh yeah, because it's right there by where the it ferry It really is. Mm -hmm. As well as the Albury Court Hotel, we discussed the Cypress House. We also mm -hmm. have the Chelsea House Pool and Gardens. That's on Truman Avenue, and it's a beautiful property as well. They have the accommodations in three buildings. Uh, two of them date back to 1895, mm -hmm. and again, it's on an acre of just lush tropical gardens. It has a beautiful swimming pool as well. It's just two blocks away from Duval Street, but you feel like you're in your own private little world there. That sounds beautiful. It's directly next door to the Key Lime Inn we discussed earlier, also on Truman Avenue. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we have the Merlin Guest House, which we mentioned. It's gorgeous, and it's on Simonton. It's a small property, so it's perfect if groups coming in for destination weddings want their own HQ 
when it's full, it only houses about 45 people, which is the average size of when a party comes into town for a destination event. So you can have this whole walled, gardened property to yourself. It has a mixture of cottages, guest rooms. It even has a Jordan Delgato, the resident cat, has his own Facebook page. Oh, <laughs> and <laughs> Gotta last, have its own Facebook page, right? One of the guests <laughs> fell in love with Jordan and started this Facebook page. He's got more likes than I do, I think. Oh, it's so funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, we have the Lighthouse Court Hotel, mm -hmm. and it's in a fabulous location. It is set out over half a city block behind a walled garden. The accommodations are in 10 different buildings, all dating back uh, to the late 1800s, early 1900s. It's directly across the street from the Ernest Hemingway home and right next door to the Lighthouse Museum. So another perfect location. It is, and it has one of the nicest suites on the island, the mm -hmm. Hemingway Suite, which is over a thousand square feet. It has all of the amenities of just a luxury home, mm -hmm. and it's got this large wraparound deck which overlooks the Hemingway home on one side and the lighthouse on the other side. It sounds perfect, Mary. And it now, is. do you still have rooms available for the holidays? We are starting to fill up quickly, but there are still rooms available throughout our collection. Uh, New Year's particularly is a really big time in mm -hmm. the Keys, mm -hmm. so we do recommend that people start thinking about making their reservations sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. But throughout the properties, we do have some rooms available, and we would Good. love to welcome some more guests in. Good. And any more information on that, our viewers can check out the information that you can see on the bottom of the screen. Mary, thank you for being on this morning and talking about the end. Oh, thank you so thank much for having me. It's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. Sounds thank like you. it's a perfect place here in Key West. Absolutely. Stay. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after this. Stay with me.